Hi guys, hi, how's it going? How you doing today? Hopefully today finds you well. Today I am doing my Sephora sale haul. So these are all the things that I hauled in in the most recent Sephora sale and you guys can see how little tiny this box is. It's not a big box. I didn't go crazy. There's some reasons for that. What's in here did, you know, not cost less than 50 bucks. So I will tell you that. But um, there's quite a few products I'd love to go over with you and I'm so excited to share. And I hope that you keep on watching. And I don't know why it took so long for me to get my box, but it always does because I live in the middle of nowhere. So sorry that this is coming to you late and it's probably the 100,000th Sephora sale haul that you've seen, but here we are. For those of you new here, hi, my name is Donna. I'm a lover of all things high-end, colorful beauty and self-care. I also work in the beauty industry as a field leader for Ulta Beauty. I get a lot of education in my position. I like to bring you that education here on this channel, but ultimately I'm just out here talking about makeup because I love to talk about makeup. I'm assuming if you're here, you probably also like to talk about makeup and I hope that you want to subscribe before you go. So with that said, let's jump into this Sephora sale haul. I cannot wait to share with you the things that I purchased. All right, so I didn't go crazy. I'm trying not to go crazy. I'm an equal opportunity shopper, but I have to be honest with you. There's not much at Sephora anymore that I can't also buy at Ulta Beauty. So there's very few things that I need to go to Sephora for these days. With that said, I did pick out just a few things. I ended up spending, I don't know, something like $189, something like that with my 20% discount because I am rouge. So let's jump into these items. This is not my makeup rehab series. I'll go over these things again, but not maybe this in depth in my makeup rehab series, but this wouldn't count as a makeup rehab series item. This is the Ole Hendrickson Banana Bright Eye Cream. Listen, this is something that I have heard about since I came upon this this beauty channel and started doing these videos but never really ever thought to purchase it but I decided that now is the time so this is the box this is what the box looks like and this is the um, little tiny jug of eye cream I'm really kind of excited to use this I've heard nothing but great things about this product and I mean, just as skincare products go, eye creams last you forever in this kind of potted system because you don't use very much at a time. So I'm really excited about this. This does say that it is gold complex vitamin C and collagen vitamins, uh, yeah, brightening eye cream. So brightens and hydrates age defying eye cream. It says truth at the top so that you're you know that they're not lying to you whatever whatever works I'm super excited to open this up and start trying it I do think I am in the market for a new eye cream so now is the time even though I have a ton down there that I really should use first but I bought that one and the rest of those came to me you know in gratis or in a beauty box so who knows the next one is this guy, and this is also by Ole Hendrickson. This is the Banana Bright Vitamin CC Cream. I do think that I am going to put this into my makeup rehab because technically this is a color correcting cream. This is in the shade Apricot. And, you know, I'm actually wearing this today. I use a lot of these products in a get ready with me that you guys will see, you know, upcoming in the future with doing this eye look and this makeup on my face. I do think that this is maybe the wrong color. I think I should have gotten the lighter one, but also I did use it on my under eyes and I don't think that it's visible. So I do think that I'll be able to make this work. I hope I'll be able to make this work because there isn't a Sephora anywhere near me. And 
I am not going to send this back just because I got the wrong shade. But that is the color correcting eye stick and I do think that this will probably filter into my Makeup Rehab series. The rest of this is definitely going to filter into the Makeup Rehab series. This is the Valentino V Lighter in Rosa. This is a dual use liquid light like illuminator so you can use it as a highlighter or a base product. I did pick this up as a point perk not that long ago from, well, I guess it's been about six months ago from Sephora and used it and loved it. And the only reason why I picked it up as a point perk is because of Lauren May Beauty. She can talk me into just about anything if I'm honest. Um, <laughs> so I did pick this guy up and I'm really excited to have it in my collection. It is the primer that I am using on my face today that is kind of, I guess, what's giving me like the glowy complexion that I have because I'm not wearing a lot of base product, which you'll see here in a second what I did use. Really excited about this, this primer. It's the perfect like kind of glowy primer. It's got a beautiful pump. It's a beautiful glass bottle. I am really excited to have it in my collection. The next thing would be this and I, this, is sadly going to cost me a lot of points. Actually, I don't think this costs a lot of points. I think this just is uh, of a number that I've given myself on the year that I can purchase, but this is the Rare Beauty Positive Light Highlighter, and this one is in the shade Exhilarate. And I gave myself five highlighters and five blushes to buy this year. I've already almost used every point that I'm able to for my blushes, but I think this is only the second highlight that I've bought this year. And like everybody is just raving about these highlights. So I had to get it. It didn't have, they didn't have very many shades in stock. So I did get Exhilarate. I'm not mad at the shade. This is what it looks like. It's just so, so pretty. It's kind of this like champagne-y gold shade and I am wearing it today. I think that it is stunning and I think it is silky smooth. It goes on the skin so, so well. It's very, very soft. It reminds me of the Becca skin finish, right? Skin, are they called skin finish or skin perfectors, which I have a ton of, only maybe even a slight bit better as it pertains to being a like skin. So really I'm super excited about this. I do wish that they had had like maybe even the pink one. I am kind of a pink highlight kind of girl, but I'm really excited to have at least one in my collection and maybe I'll pick up the pink one. Who knows? And that will be another point off of <laughs> my um, ability to purchase highlights this year. Um, but listen, it's May and I've only purchased two highlights. So I figure I've got, you know, several more months and three more highlights to purchase this year. So I should be fine. I should be fine. Blushes on the other hand, that could be a problem. I just picked up this one. This is the House Labs blush in the shade Watermelon Bliss. Um, the blushes are called Color Fuse Blushes and... I'm really into these like crazy colors these days and I'm not really sure why, but that isn't what I'm wearing today, surprisingly, even though it kind of looks like it could be. I'm using one that's pretty compensatory in color and I'm really mad at myself for um, picking up a secondary blush in almost the same color. This is what it looks like. This is the packaging. You can see my fingerprints all over it because I have had it out of the package. I love House Labs packaging. Like it is stunning, stunning. This is the blush. Holy moly, right? Yeah, you could almost swear it was a blush on my face today, but it's not. It is actually one that you'll see in my makeup rehab series because this is not the only blush that I bought this last month. So um, this is, again, the House Labs blush, and this is in the shade Watermelon Bliss. I'm super excited to try it, this on my face. I did purchase one of her bronzers, I think it was last month, and I really actually quite like that bronzer. I am wearing it today. It's the first time I've worn it, so just on a first impression, I'm having a really good time with it. 
The next product I purchased is this. This is the Glossier Stretch Concealer. This is another one of those Lauren May Beauty made me buy it items. Like this used to be back in the day, and I'm not sure if it still is, but this used to be her favorite concealer. And after using it today, I can tell why, because it is on my inner corner and kind of blended down my nose and out um, on my under eye. And you can't even tell that it is there. It warms up really, really nicely to the touch, but it reminds me of MAC Paint Pot in its presentation. But you put your finger in and it just kind of melts to your touch. It's like almost water going on your skin and it just kind of becomes your skin. It's like, it's very, very, it's not very, um, oh my God, I cannot speak. Words are hard today. My daughter is sitting here laughing at me. It's not very apparent that you're wearing a product on your under eyes when you're using it. I really, really like this. I cannot wait to use it more. I'm wondering if I will still feel the same way, um, you know, weeks from now, because typically if I really like a, a concealer, which I don't love concealers, but typically what happens is I really love one. And then a couple of weeks later, I'm like, I really don't like this anymore. Except for the OIS Triple Fix. That one has been really great. I love that one. I'm hoping that this one would be another one. This one's not a bad price point either. I think it was 20 bucks for that guy, full price. So the OIS, I think it's like 18. So if you can get a concealer for such a little price, heck yeah, do it. I also got the Makeup Forever HD Skin. Uh, this is the like sculpting palette that they have. So they have this one and then they have a full on face palette that's got blushes and, and highlights in it, I think. This one I purchased because you guys all know that I travel a lot, right? Um, I always like bringing a blush along but like when it comes to like base products there's always so many different products that you have to pack to have a full base product routine in your in your mix so I did purchase this because they have all of these like cream products in here that are supposed to be for sculpting but I, when I look at it I see like foundation shades I see even concealer shades here I see bronzing shades here I see contour shades and there are four highlights also here so for me this would be my full face for the most part, except for blush. And all I have to pack is this one little tiny size of my hand product. And I did use this today. It is what is all over my face. I do have this color as my foundation and this shade here as my contour. And I think that it turned out really well. I don't feel like you can feel it on the skin. I feel like it's not super heavy and I feel like it actually is pretty beautiful and it mixed well with this concealer if I decide to bring this concealer instead of the one in here, which I probably would to be honest. The last two products that I picked up from the Sephora sale, can you believe there's not been a palette yet that I've talked about? Are these two so millennial pink has been on my mind since it came out and it was I think like half off and then a percentage off of that and then the 20% that you got with it so these are both by Mount Cosmetics the other one is the um god what is this called that's really hard to read electrip electrip palette that's the new one from them this one is kind of really rather old to be honest my friend Grace has this palette and when she got it, I was like, uh, I don't see me ever using that. But number one, I love the packaging of this palette. Number two, this color story is actually quite beautiful. I love the like slaty gray tone blues and then all these like rosy pinky shades. Um, this this like silvery blue, this white is really pretty, this kind of rosy tone. And what I noticed right off the bat is most of my Melt Cosmetic palettes that come like this have like two shimmers in it and the rest are matte. Um, this one has five shimmers. So I'm really excited about this palette. And this is a deep, dark, like navy blue versus um, a black like it looks in the screen. And then the Electrip palette the packaging you guys is everything right this is super hard to read though so this is the palette how trippy is that that's crazy sauce 
Um, I love it. I love it. But this is the palette. And I have to be honest with you guys. I think it reminds me a lot of Vita. Vita. Is it Vita? The, it reminds me a lot of one of those. I mean, it's not an exact dupe and I'm not going to pull it out and say, look at how similar they are because I don't think that they're super similar, but I do think that they're similar enough. But every review I've seen says that this is feels like a different melt formula. So I'm excited to try it and I love me some melt cosmetics. So I also kind of really dig this color story, kind of the like greens and the blues here and then some like more like neutral browns and um, like corals going to red. Like I just kind of love how this looks and it's very almost 70 inspired I feel like. So and maybe that was the point. I don't know. I don't know much about this palette. I don't think I even saw it until I saw it on the Sephora website. So, of course, I got some little sample stuff. But other than that, that's it. That's all I picked up at the Sephora sale. And it all fits into this little tiny box right here. So, I didn't go crazy. But I did get some really good finds, I think. Let me know what you guys picked up. If you don't have a video out there that I haven't had the opportunity to watch yet. I would really love to know what you picked up at the Sephora sale, if anything. What do you think about the products that I picked up? And yeah, guys, that's it. That's all I got for you. So I hope that you enjoyed the video. I hope that if you did, you give it a big thumbs up. And I really do hope that if you're new here, you liked it so, so much that you're going to subscribe to my channel. I would really love to welcome a new family member into our YouTube fam here. Thank you guys so much for watching today. I hope that you and yours are well, that you're healthy safe and sane <laughs> and that you are getting along as best you can in this world and that you are loving each other but loving each other from afar and until next time bye friends <laughs>